All right, man, Brad Holmes and the Detroit Lions have an underwhelming day one of the 2024 NFL free agent period real quick. They signed bum ass Marcus Davenport, and then um, they traded for Carlton Davis, which we I knew that was going to happen. I'm surprised it wasn't Jamel Dean. Uh, the Lions, I told y'all, and, you know, Brett Holmes said it at the, the opening press conference. He said it at the opening press conference that um, – that he wasn't going to do nothing major in free agency. He said that. They literally basically said that. And when he and I did my reaction to the post the, the postseason or end of season wrap-up press conference, I literally pointed that out. He literally said that he he wasn't going to uh he wasn't going to do anything. That's pretty much what he said. You know, he said every move that we do or don't make, you know what I'm saying, is is just a reflection of, you know, he basically said is the ref, you know, is it would basically with good intention. That's what he said. It's with good intention. Like, you know, it's, you know, we doing something to win. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, um a lot of people, you know, you know, get mad you know, but at the end of the day, um, they not did the Lions never do anything in free agency. All the names, you know, that they that they are linked to, you know what I'm saying? Um all the names that they be linked to, bro, y'all be getting excited. Oh, the Jerry Sneed, that's not who they historically are. And, and guys got to want to come, you know, they got to want to come here and play. And they don't want to come here and play. When they come here, they want to charge super duper extra because of the city's reputation. Okay. They want to charge extra, you know. And then on top of that, they want to charge extra. Um, then they want to charge extra on top of that because, um, you know, they want to charge extra on top of that because uh, it's the, you know, this, the, the franchise ain't been winning like that. So, no, they're not going to give, you know, Christian Wilkins $100 million. That's not who they are. They best free agents throughout, you know, for the remember – through the last 20 something years, almost 30 years have been James Stewart, Reggie Bush and Golden Tate. You know, the, the Pistons don't get, you know, top free agents. You know, people forgetting that the Pistons don't get top free agents. You know, the only ones that get top free agents, you know, the Tigers, you know, in the past, I think. And, you know, the, the wings, especially when it wasn't a salary cap. So that's what people got to remember. This, 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 they always going to get second, third rate guys. So you have to be able to draft. And a lot of y'all are going to be the same ones complaining. Oh, man, the Lions, this, that, and third. And, and the Lions, uh, you know, oh, we can, I wouldn't spend this money here. And they need to save their money. Y'all, first, y'all want to be frugal. And then y'all want to turn around and talk about how they don't spend no money. I don't understand it, but they signed Davenport. He's a fucking bum. Um, I don't homie this cover the Saints, man. He can't. He couldn't stand this dude. This is a waste of fucking draft pick for them. First round draft pick. He ain't done shit in his career. Come on, man. Look at this shit. He had one. He had a year. Where he had nine sacks in New Orleans. That's his shining. That's his shine. He started off with four and a half, six. You know, he played four games last year, 15, 11, 11, 13. He always injured, always bro broken up. Um, he for he a flash here, for some fumbles and all that, but he ain't shit. He ain't shit. 
He and the motherfucker still on injury reserve right now for the Vikings. <laughs> this is a waste of money. We said go get Daniel Hunter, not Marcus Davenport off the off the Vikings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They went to get the wrong per, uh purple purple people eater, what they call them. They went to get the wrong, you know, the Viking. <laughs> And Brad Holmes know he loves some injury prone players, bro. If you injury prone or you got a blown out ACL, Brad gonna sign you. Brad be doing free AC like he's shopping that save a lot. Come on, man. He be doing that like he's shopping that save a lot, bro. Come on. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. He be doing that like he shopping at Save a lot. So don't get all happy about, about this. This move Davenport ain't shit. And if he start off high, that means he about to get injured. You know, and then it's been a lot of talk about Carlton Davis and, and all and what he brings to the table. They start matching his numbers up with uh with Jerry Jacobs numbers. Uh, and Jerry Jacobs numbers look better. But what they excuse was is that Carlton Davis was matching up against number one corners. My thing is this. So was motherfucking Jerry Jacobs. You think because they got you listed as QB, CB number two, you know, that means you're not matching up against number ones. Then why oh, Chris Olave was having his way with Jerry, Jerry Jacobs? That don't mean nothing. Number one receiver can't move around. You do know that. And the Lions usually don't make their corners travel with the number one receiver. So either side of the cornerback, the side you own, you're going to be matching up with number one receivers. Even Brian Branch in the slot is going to be matching up with number one receivers. So that's kind of what you got to understand about it. It don't matter if you start on the inside, outside, or wherever you're starting at, you're going to be matching up with number one receivers. So that's that's just real. That's just real. You're going to be matching up with them. But, uh, but yeah, man. Um, I mean, he cool. Some, you know, be telling, oh, another Cam Sutton. I hope not. He got good ball skills, you know, a bigger corner, not a faster corner. But, you know, we just pretty much see how it pan out. I knew they probably was going to go for Carlton Davis when they said Sneed, Lattimore available. And Davis, I said it's gonna be Marshawn. It's gonna be Carlton Davis. I knew it. That's how the Lions roll. Whatever the biggest name is, forget about it. Whatever the lowest name out the tandem is, that's who the Lions going for. That's who they going for. They going for the lowest name they link to. They going to the lowest name they link to, and that's just the way it is. So. Um, at the end of the day, the day when it's expected for me, I know the Lions and I know how they uh how they uh how they rock. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash up dollar sign CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Peace.